<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guests get the scene with their mega hit, Grind On Me, and have continued making passionate bedroom music. Their fans have become infatuated, infatuated with. They have since started the journey in VH1's Love and Hip Hop Miami and recently put all differences aside to reunite for the Millennium Tour that is selling out across the country. Please welcome to the show Spectacular, Pleasure P, Slick'em, and Baby Blue. Yay! Yeah. Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Turn up, now this watch here though. Yeah, it's uh, blinding my eyes. Stop. I say the watch is just... Bling bling. Well, yeah, something, something. Okay, so you guys are back together. That's very fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Spectacular and Blue, you guys are brothers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, how did you guys, first of all, how did you guys form? And what is it like being brothers in a group? I mean, we're all brothers, really, you know. We, we're blood brothers, but we all grew up together. And um, I think forming the group, it just came kind of organically uh -huh. since we're in the house together doing music. Um, Pleasure grew up singing, we grew up dancing, rapping, and we put it together. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Well, I heard a rumor that Martin Lawrence is the one who actually came up with the name Pretty Ricky. Is that true or is it not true? What's the real story behind that? Close to that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, close <laughs> to that. It came from the show. Remember uh, when, um, <laughs> on a Pretty Re the episode of Martin where was it, Miguel Nunez played Pretty Ricky. It came from that. Pretty Ricky, what they when call him. When he said him. Pretty Ricky, what they call him. <laughs> pretty oh, Ricky, what they Yaza! call him. Oh, Yaza! Was, yeah. uh, was that a basketball <laughs> movie when he was in the basketball? He played he the basketball. He played in the basketball. Was, yeah, right, Eddie, right. And it was Vivica Fox. You pretty, that pretty, movie? pretty Ricky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Okay, so when you guys formulated, obviously, you know, you, you had hit records, but how did this success manifest? Because did you guys, like, have street music first, and then you were found by, you know, a, a record label? You know, you know, you'd be, like, popular in the hood first, and then mm -hmm. you get a record label, and then you go up? I think that we just really just was grinding, just doing shows after shows. Mm -hmm. Like, back then, YouTube wasn't out. And, right. You know, none of the really the social media was out, but we was doing so many shows. Every time we did one show, we end up getting somebody else there say, we want them to perform at my club, right. too, or at my venue, too. So that's and how you got the awareness. We got the momentum, there. yeah. And then at, at that point, they used to say, hey, Pretty Ricky is coming up. And, like, females used to run to the front of the mm -hmm. stage. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. And it was, it was going crazy. And then, like, the whole Craig Kalman story. I'll let somebody else tell that story, but yeah, it's a whole nother, whole Craig nother Kalman. monster right there. Craig Kalman. I remember that name. Yeah. <laughs> That's a name there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what was that moment like for you guys when you did have that, that moment of pandemonium when women are screaming and, oh my God, I'm my God, I'm my God. How did that feel for you guys? I don't know. I kind of always had that. Man, oh, I can't <laughs> I'm just saying. I think we all had that, you know. I mean, I was dancing in the third grade with females screaming and like pulling me on stage. Third like, grade? What? Yeah. They know they do yeah. in the third grade. And yeah. you just had the people ever since you was just little. I was just Same always an girls. entertainer. I think all, all of us was always entertainers, man. So I, I think that, yeah. What about it, you, Quiet Storm? All... Quiet Storm, chilling. <laughs> I'm just you know, <laughs> quiet. For me, for me, like all of us, we've been you know entertainers all of our life but yeah. the surreal moment was I'll never forget it we, we did like a Martin Luther King parade oh, yeah. and it's like trying to make it as an artist you know you um you know you there were there were times we would rehearse for, for weeks and then get to the show and then the the I guess the headlining act they want to go on right away so dang like it was it was it was like a, a letdown so many times in a row and then finally our song came out and then I don't know, like we was performing and girls just bum rushed the stage the first time. And this particular show, Craig Kalman didn't make this one. We was like, dang, the one time it happened, it didn't. Then we went to another show the same day and it happened again. And then that's when we knew it was like, it was a surreal moment though, for sure. Wow. You guys separated for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, what was the reason for your separation? And did you miss being with each other? Is that why you guys came back together? Um, I feel like um, it's just time for everybody to get their just due, man. You know what I mean? We've been grinding. Um, there were financial differences when it came to management and things like that for the separation, but we in internally never really had problems with one another. You know what I'm saying? So I was the first one to, to kind of, you know, step out and leave, and everything else happened after. But, of course, I miss them. They miss me. 
You know what I mean? And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we we, and we try other, to man. keep communication right. too, for the most part. But at times it got a little shaky. But but I think I think right now is the best time because we all understand like you know what's on the table. We really get to take advantage of that. And when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna hear more about Pretty Ricky and hear everything about the Millennium Tour. So stay right there. When we come back. We're gonna get all the gotcha. all the we'll get all the information, all the juicy. Ju Welcome back. We are still chatting with the fabulous Pretty 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 Ricky. And so we're going to delve into more of their personal business. So, Blue. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to start with you. <laughs> okay. okay, so you guys have gone through a really emotional season with this love and hip-hop Miami going on. I mean, mm -hmm. what does that mean with you guys being together, working in that kind of environment, being so exposing uh, with your personal lives? Um, you mean on the show? On like, the show. You know what is for us? since it's a lot of topics that we haven't touched on or ever talked about, mm -hmm. um, and they like real deep-rooted problems, they, they actually witnessing us go through it organically. You know, these are real emotions so it's like and- it yeah, It's like therapy. Yeah, it's like therapy. And then you know what? The producers are, they're, they're I, I want to say nurturing. Like, you know, they'll come to us and they'll talk to us and, and try to help us get through it. You know what I mean? And they, they're, not, they're not bad guys, they're more like, like parents right. almost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let's talk about this tour that's, that's about to come up because it's, it's pretty lit from the line. <laughs> right. And uh, it's been a long time coming, but why do you think now is the perfect moment for a tour like this? I think because, um, to be honest, it's like, I don't know, it's just that kind of music and that kind of feel is missing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everybody is like turning up and stuff like that. So, I, I mean, I, th I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, I feel that yeah. it's needed right it's now. It's needed, for sure. I feel like it's needed. I feel like it's missed and it's being overlooked. And now yeah. the time is now to, to show that this is something that needs to happen. Right. And it needs to happen on an annually basis. Yeah. You know, if not quarterly basis, a tour like this need to go out mm -hmm. because this is what really the people want also. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's a lit era. Yeah, and it's yeah. selling yeah. out. Yeah. It's selling out nationwide. Good. Are you guys yeah. adding more? Come on, quiet over here. Y'all got y'all have more dates coming out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then there's that. Well, thank you guys for joining thank us so you. much. We love you guys. Uh, to catch us. Pretty Ricky on tour with B2K, visit um, gsquaredevents.com and be sure to catch them on Love & Hip Hop Wednesdays at 10, 9 Central on VH1. And remember, the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yay! <laughs> the Millennium Tour, baby. Yes! I can't wait. I'm going to see it. That's going to be lit. Yeah. First going to be lit.